Hi, I'm Simon of TV Africa. Greetings from Nalerugu, Ghana. Today we are going to explore the northeast region of Ghana's most important historical monument. This wall was built over 250 years ago by Mampusi King to defend the capital, Nalerugu. But before we dive into the interesting history and fantastic legends behind this wall, let's take a look at where it is located. Since 2019, Nalerugu has been the capital of Ghana's northeast region. However, it has been the capital of the traditional kingdom of Mamprugu for about 300 years when King Na Atabia moved the Nairi's palace from Gambaga and settled in Nalerugu. After Atabia's death in the mid-18th century, his son Yamusa took power and was enskinned as Nigeringa. During his reign, Nigeringa embarked on a massive project, building a wall around the western side of Nalerugu near its main water source. It is said to have originally been 11 feet high, though now what remains is about 6 feet at its highest point. One can only imagine how impressive it must have been at the time of its construction. Today, the wall goes by several names. Locally, it is called Nigeringa Wall, or even Birimgumni. However, outside the region, it is often called Nalerugu Slave Defense Wall. Historians have not come to an agreement on why Nigeringa built that wall, but there are several theories. His father, Na Atabia, had a very long reign and fought many wars. The wall may have been to defend the new capital from enemies bent on revenge. The 18th century was also the peak of the slave trade on the coast of West Africa. This has led to the popular theory that it was built as a defense against slave raiders from the south attempting to kidnap innocent Mampusi. A third theory comes from oral tradition. It is said that Nigerian's son lost an eye to injury and was thus disqualified from the chieftaincy. Knowing his good claims to the skin would end with him, he built the world to be remembered forever. Oral tradition also includes some very interesting legends about the construction of the wall. It is said Nigeria used forced labor and if someone refused to work or was too weak, he would have them executed and put into the wall. The legendary ingredients of the wall are also quite surprising. Various oral accounts mention that honey, shea butter, milk, and even pito were mixed with sand to cement the wall. Despite all the mysteries surrounding the origins of this great wall, one thing is certain. It has caused Nigerian guest name to be remembered. We hope you have enjoyed this look at Nigeria wall today, and we invite you to come and discover more of Ghana's Northeast region. This impressive wall is just one of the amazing sites full of history, beauty, and culture. You can learn more by visiting the Discover Northeast Ghana website. If you are interested in coming in person or organizing a tour group, please contact our TV Africa team by phone, email, or social media. I am Simon, and see you next time on TV Africa. If you want to go in depth in the history of the Nalergu wall, check out the resources and references in the description box below.